Well, good morning or good evening or good afternoon, depending on where you're from. Uh, my name is Mitch Weisberg. I'm here, uh, usually a host of EdChat Interactive. And today uh, we have Monica Joshi, who's going to be talking about using story-based quests in primary schools. Uh, we also have an EdChat Interactive coming up on Saturday with um, Deepti Chopra, who's going to be talking about student creation using animation and video, and specifically with Plotagon. And, uh, and she's going to be bringing a guest. She's going to be bringing her daughter, who's actually going to be talking about how she's been using this in class. So that's going to be very exciting. Uh, but uh, let me now you know, hand over the leadership to Monica. So uh, Monica, welcome back to EdChat Interactive. It's always it's, uh, it's incredible working with you. And one of the story-based quests you actually wrote. Yeah, thank you, Mish. Thank you so much. And good evening to everybody. And welcome to the today's webinar. So we will be talking about how we can create a story-based quest with the primary students, basically. So without much ado, I'll be sharing the screen. Uh, is the screen there, visible? It's just starting. Yes, there it goes. Yeah. So just a brief introduction about me. So I'm the IT head at Satpal Mittal School, Ludhiana, and uh, I'm, an, I'm an MIE expert, Minecraft global mentor, 3D Bear ambassador, and Adobe Creative Ambassador, Teach SDGs Ambassador, Apple Teacher, and Flipgrid Great Guide, Weekly Ambassador. I love to blog also. So as I tol uh, talked about that, uh, we will be talking about today the uh, story-based quest in the primary school. So we can create the story-based quest with the help of any application you want. And if you don't want any application, you can use it with the help of a uh, normal play activities with the Lego blocks, with clay, with uh, matchsticks, with paper, anything. But then primarily we will be talking about how we create the story-based quest with the help of 3D Bear. And we'll be giving you the live demonstration also. And uh, uh, towards when we are progressing further, we will be showcasing you two of the lessons which uh, while going back, we will be giving it to you. You can use it in your classrooms. And for creating the th uh, story-based quest with the help of uh, 3D Bear, all you have to download the 3D Bear app uh, from the App Store. You can download it on iPhone as well as you know the Androids as well. And uh, in, in case you want the lessons to be used in your classrooms, you can go on 3dbear.io and then create an account there. And in, in, even if you don't, do not create the account there, you can find the resources of lessons there and then you can find and can use it in your classrooms. So basically uh, 3D Bear is about, you can you know, uh, we do the video recording, you can uh, have the uh, pictures, you can have the voiceovers in the real time environments and create your quests. Uh, you can import the 3D models here and you can take from Sketchfab and then you, there are ready-made challenges and lessons and uh, you can use it in the classroom. Though the examples which I'm showing it to you, I have uh, already shown in uh, my previous webinars also, though like I found and felt that there are a number of uh, attendees who are new to 3D Bear. So I'll just be quickly showcasing one of one or two, and then we will be showcasing the lesson to you. So when uh, we talk about that, what are the uh, four things that are important for the students that we talk about that are the four C's, that is the creativity, thinking, communication, and collaboration. And you know, with the help of 3D Bear, we can do it with the help of you know story building. We can do it with uh, giving them problem solving questions, like uh, uh, doing any environment to redesign, uh, re redesigning any environment. Uh, and then we can build the communication skills with the help of sharing thoughts, ideas, creations. And also uh, we can develop the team building skills 
uh, with the uh, so that you know they collaborate and share the thought process with each other. So this is one of the example which is you know the work which is created by the students only that how the photosynthesis is working on, and uh, this is the work uh, made by students like uh, photosynthesis happens when you know water carbon dioxide glucose you know all these elements are combined and then this process happens so uh, mish if you can you know uh, share your screen and we have our characters that is the bear uh, the sure, boy if you could stop sharing yeah then, I, then i'll, then I'll yes. start yes uh, the lesson which i'm going to share uh, today we have three main characters, uh, the astronaut, the bear, and the boy. So, Mish, uh, if you can, in, you know, open so 3D go, bear. I'll go into 3D bear. Yep. Yes. And first have a, have a boy on the screen. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, now I'm into 3D bear here. So... So there's a lot of collections that are built into 3D Bear. So here, I'll just choose one of these boys, let's say Jasper, and I can place him. I can make him larger. I can make him smaller. I can move him. Um, and we're just looking at the phone, at you know, through my phone. I can rotate him. Okay. And now, what's next? Yeah. So this is the first character, and the name of this boy is A. The capital A and small a. The name of this boy is A. So I will type, type A, A as his name. And I'll just put that right over him. And maybe we'll make it green. Okay, yeah. yeah. If you can change the color, yeah. So this is the way the color uh, of the objects uh, can be changed when we place uh, them in the real time environment. Okay, the next character is the astronaut. So there's no astronaut that's directly built into 3D Bear, but within 3D Bear, you can go to repositories on the web. So I'm gonna go into one here and I'll choose an astronaut from this repository and place him. And let me just uh, adjust the colors there. And so now I have an astronaut. Yes. I'm going to rotate him a little bit so he's looking at A. Ah. Yeah. Though the astronaut, uh, which is in my lesson, is a female, but it's okay. We have a male astronaut here. Yeah. So we have two characters uh, of our lesson. That is the boy and, uh, you know, the astronaut. And if you can insert the bear also, Mish. Okay. And I'm going to put the, we have, we have real bears, but I'm just going to put the 3D bear here. 3D bear. Uh, oops, I put two of him. So um, now I'm going to rotate him. I'm going to make him bigger. And okay, so we have the three characters. And then. So now this boy, uh, Actually, he loves to collect the things that starts from A. So uh, if you can collect an apple uh, for him. So I'm going to look over here to the food. And I scroll down on the food. And yeah, here's an apple. So I'll place the apple. It's a little bit too big. I'll make it smaller. And I'm going to label it. Um, uh, with a capital A, let's say. Yeah. A. Get us off the. Put it below there. There. And here's my scene an apple, an A, the boy Ah, the bear, and the astronaut. Yeah. And if you can, you know, uh, tell how, how we can cr take the screenshot. Okay. So you see the, the round circle towards the bottom in the middle, if I tap that, I take a screenshot of my, of my scene. So I'm going to tap it. 
and that's going to my photo roll. If I'm a student, it goes to my teacher also. Or yeah. the other thing I could do is, um, is I could take a video. So if I hold down that circle, uh, then you see it starts filling in red and here's my video yeah. as I'm panning through the picture. And there we go. And now I have a video that I can also yes. send to my teacher. Yes. And that's really 3D bear, right? Yeah. This is pretty simple how we can add items and the same way we can guide the students. Uh, perhaps I think students guide us how we can work on these applications. So let me, um, I'm going to stop my screen, my mirroring. Yeah. And my screen share. Yes. And so, so yeah. So these were the main characters of the lesson which I'm going to share today. That's a very beautiful lesson with me and Mish have made. And I'm going to share the screen again. Um, so this is the lesson, the link I'm going to share in the chat window. And uh, also in case you want, you know, uh, to invite any one of us, me or Mish in your classroom, to show how uh, you know you have to use this lesson, you can, uh, Mish, if you can type down your email ID in your chat window. So yeah, they and can I think contact. everybody everybody must have gotten an email from me because they because yeah. you're here. Uh, yeah. But I'll uh, I'll put my email address here. Yeah, and also in case you want you know the subscription of the 3D Bear also for sixty days or thirty days. Um, 60, 60 days, I'll do 60, 60 days. days. So you can contact Mish for that. So um, you're good to go with that. So this is the lesson, which is uh, letters are fun. So I'll just roll in. So this is the forward of the lesson. And uh, the lesson has five quests and you know, there's a master notebook which can be downloaded by the students wherein the students uh, can paste their work and can submit it to the teachers. So each link is a hyperlink uh, that is open to another presentation. So I'll just be showing you one of the quests, say I'm going and clicking on quest five, which is about uh, the letter E and F and the next eight letters, that is the, it completes the whole ABC. So this comes in the form of a read-only Google Slides, which you can use it in your classroom. I'll just present this presentation. So like I told you, the boy name is A, and he's on a mission to see asteroids. And so, uh, as the lesson is progressing, so the boy has completed the four quests and the astronaut is asking the boy, uh, the boy that how he's feeling like, so boy is responding. So it's, the lesson is actually built in the form of a story. So because it is very necessary that you have to engage the students, you know, and engaging the students, you have to build the lesson in a way so that you know kids are involved and they are using all their forces what we have talked about in the beginning when we just started the webinar. So the boy is responding the astronaut that, yeah, I'm feeling great as I have learned the letters beginning from A, B, C, and D. And now what's next? So the astronaut is saying that, okay, you have to find out the letters that would you know uh, begin with D and uh, the boy is, you know, relating it uh, with the letter D. Okay, yeah, I have always wanted to see Dharmshala in India because, you know, we are using this lesson in Indian classroom. So the places which children can relate when they are going and visiting the uh, hill stations in the summer holidays. So the context has been used in that sense. So, you know, in indirectly you are introducing the map of India also to the students and you know involving the current affairs also with that and telling the information about that space place also Dharmshala is you know in the very north of India and the mountains and the sceneries are very beautiful while building the story you are introducing the words of vocabulary you are introducing the 
you know, general knowledge, knowledge question answers also. And then, you know, you are building the interest of the students by, you know, engaging the child and uh, giving the view of the streets by inserting the images into the lesson. And I'm sure you're going, you are doing it in your lessons already by when you are making it in uh, MS Word or PowerPoint. And the same thing we have incorporated when we are using 3D Bear also. So this is a monastery, which is a um, Namagaya monastery in Dharamshala. And, you know, we are telling the students, okay, where the Dalai Lama lives. So all this- And, we and are... all those links are live also. So if you wanted to yes. go through with your students a yes. little bit about the monastery or the Dalai Lama, you, you don't have to do it here, but you can click on the links and you can get more yes. information. Yes. So, okay, let's move on the first part of the fifth quest. So uh, the boy is responding, okay, I'm hope I'll be able to make it and I want more stars. And it's very beautiful because, you know, leaderboard thing is very important. So after completing each quest, uh, the child is awarded the stars, you know, and that you can see in the previous presentations when we share the lesson with you. And by now the child has got four stars and he's waiting to complete because he wanted to, you know, uh, travel with the astronaut to the space. And so here we have provided the help guide, you know, the incomplete guide and uh, wherein we are providing the letters starting from E and egg eagle, ear, and eye, that is given. And then find four more objects that begin with letter E in the real world and, uh, you know, fill it in your Lotus diagram. So all those I, uh, who are from the primary and then even if not from primary also, we all know that what is a Lotus diagram. The center point uh, has the key, po key area and then we fill in uh, the output, what uh, we want, and that we place it in the uh, rest of the uh, cells of the table. So, okay. So can you come up with something that you can find in the real world that starts with letter E? So here, you know, the thinking question is given to the student. So, okay, the boy is saying, sure, I like earth, earring, and elbow. I'm not sure if I'll find an elephant though, maybe I'll find people eating. And throughout the quest, one of the things that Monica did with this story mm -hmm. is the, the, the kids have a chance to find things on their own, but if they need some hints, there's always hints later on like these hints. So if the student, uh, the students couldn't come up with things that begin with the letter E, uh, here this, you know, he's, ah, is telling, you know, is, is giving you some of the things that you could use in the real world. Yeah. So here the bear has come, okay, for this challenge, find an egg, an eagle, an ear, an eye in 3D bear. They all begin with letter E and then find four objects in the real world that also begin with E and label the eight objects and place them in the notebook in the Lotus diagram. So there's a notebook also, I'm just going to show you wherein the child is going to paste uh, how the work, uh, items in the 3D bear have, have to be found, Mish just explained you. And the same thing has to be explained to the students also, to you, to buy, by you, to the students. So, uh, and then to involve the discussion with the students uh, and to make the lesson interesting. So what was your favorite E word that you found? Okay. So here R is responding earth, that's where we live. And then you can throw this question to the students, you know, to have the excitement and have the involvement that what was their favorite word that they found. And then, you know, uh, the picture here, this is from 3D Bear and this is the satellite. All these have been added with the help of 3D bear and then earth looks like this when we see from the space station and you can find both on 3D bear. So this astronaut is telling to the boy about that. 
So after that, you know, okay, this discussion is going further. And then the next task is given about finding the, you know, words starting from F and then find the other four objects in the real world. So four again from the 3D bear and four again from the real world. So this way, the lesson is progressing and okay. So once the all quests are completed and you know, I'll just move forward and the bear is, you know, congratulating the child that, okay, you have won all the stars. So here in uh, all these stars are given to the students and then you can perhaps have a leaderboard in the class or you can have a, you know, a badge that can be uh, digitally given to the student. So here we are just saying, okay, you're a smart boy. I'm so glad that you have completed all the five quests as now the boy has asked the astronaut that I want to travel with you in the space. So, you know, we are just saying the boy, you have just completed a challenge that used letter F. Now this challenge will involve that you have to find involve G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, all these letters, nine letters. And for each letter, you know, you have to have one word and then fill in, in the Lotus diagram so that the whole uh, uh, ABC is completed with the help of that. And that uh, he, the child has to complete it in the notebook. So I'll just move forward. And once, you know, uh, the challenge is completed. So this is the bear cup, which you can, which can be given to the student. So, you know, the lesson is about 3D bear. So we have made that, okay, now I think you are made, you are an honorary cub. So that's what is given to the child. And, okay, let's go and find the asteroids. So this is also added with the help of 3D Bear. And, okay, so uh, knowingly and unknowingly, the astronaut is telling at that, do you know that there is an asteroid uh, belt between Mars and Jupiter? So this is a beautiful painting, which, you know, made by students. And there are a few objects added with the help of 3D Bear only here. So this is one of the lesson. Let me show you uh, the master notebook. Okay, so this is the notebook which is which student has to use for the Lotus diagram which I was talking about. Each load each quest has to be added here in the form of a lotus diagram so this is first quest second quest and after that the star is added here and then perhaps you can have a digital board there also you can add so second third okay so this is the notebook coming along uh, with this complete package which you can download and give it to your students and they can use it in your classroom. Uh, and this is the final bear cup, which is given to the student when they complete all the challenges. Yeah. So this was the first chap first lesson that, you know, we have made and Mish, you have to add something here. Uh, you're on mute. I just realized that. Um, so it just seems to me that the, the, the idea of having a story and within the story, getting the kids engaged in it and then, and then building things that the kids have to do in order to complete the story, keeping track of some type of rewards like stars and, and letting the, the children level up, that that's a way to add engagement to the things that we normally would be teaching anyhow. Now you you may be muted. I'm sharing the link of this lesson. Right, uh, I put it into the chat also. Uh, I think you had shared the docs. Right. Yes. The 
the book creator app. Oh, the book creator. Okay, and the and the book creator link is actually in that doc also. Okay, right. That's that's great then. Okay, so I'm going to share another uh, lesson now that is about the computational thinking. So let me share my screen once again. Okay. So this is the lesson that comes, what comes next grandma. So here are, you know, three characters, the grandma and the, you know, uh, boy and a girl. So this is a lesson, complete lesson come in the document format. And then I'm just going to share the slide presentation with you. So all the quests are, you know, pasted here in the form of a document also and all the images, what all are used in the presentation. So those are also used, pasted here. So I'm just going to show you one of the presentation. Okay. Right. So this is a, a story of Riddle and I'm showing the last quest in so, which so these are the most difficult ones yeah yeah in, even in in one of the quest i was confused <laughs> <laughs> yeah so here the fifth and final quest we are going to try a trip uh you up here but guess uh is that you will outsmart us here we go so herein also uh, the students are taught you know the alphabets uh, starting in from here and then, you know, uh, guessing from the pattern of the images and the coding and decoding messages that that's being taught to the students. So, you know, okay, so the message is sometimes we can disguise a message by using the pattern, someone code the message using pattern and then reader has to decode the message to read it. So this quest will be all about coding and decoding the message. So we have disguised a pattern using, disguised a word using a pattern. Look at this and see if you can figure out the message. So on the you know, right side, there is a cow, an apple and a you know, dinosaur. So I would, I would love if in the chat window, uh, we can have the answer of this. Well, I think the message is that the cow and the dinosaur fought over the apple. The message has come? <laughs> that the cow and the dinosaur are fighting over the apple. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, and let's, let's have more answers to this. Are there more answers, Mish? Uh, no, no, I think... I think we've may, we may have stumped people because I think we threw them off when we called it a dinosaur. Right. Okay. So let's move further and see. I see a cow, an apple, and a dinosaur. So that's not just a dinosaur. That's a trinosaur. It's a cow, an apple, and a trinosaur rex. So can you figure out figure this out? See if you can build a scene and a fo photo to solve this riddle and then place it in your notebook. If you are not sure, keep on reading and then create your photo. So, oh, then we look at, look at the first letters of each item. They spell like cat, C for cow, A for apple and T for trinosaur. So, you know, this is the way you teach the coding and decoding skills to the students, the, you know, the problem solving, how they have to code, decode and use their, you know, gray area so that we can find a picture of a cat to solve the message. So I'm sure you can do this now. And now we move further and create a fo photo and place it in your personal notebook. And after the child has completed the notebook, which we, which the, which is given with the, you know, with this chapter, the child has to paste it there and then move further. 
how about this one can you decode this okay can can we have answers in the chat window of this photograph a frog a flamingo banana and a carrot can we have the answer of this So this one is a lot more difficult because you obviously can't use the first letters, right? Frog, flamin flamingo, carrot, or banana carrot doesn't mean anything. So maybe, maybe uh, consider using the last letter of each. Yeah. So did did we get any answer in the chat window? No. Okay. So let me move forward. So that's a frog, a flamingo, banana, and a carrot. And I think, or uh, any one of that, FFBC, that, that doesn't make any uh, you know, sense. Ah, we got an answer. We got the answer? Yeah. All right, great. Who's that? Ash I Ashima. Oh, great, wonderful. Ashima Sofit? Yes, yes. Yeah, great. Okay, let's give her a star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so maybe uh, not the first letter, the second letter, and you know uh, what answer Ashima has given. But we wanted to show how the kid, we wanted the kids to show how they were reasoning to kind of prod your students to also think in those same ways. Yeah, so maybe you know the frog, flamingo, banana, and carrot, and that isn't the first, second letter. Is that enough for a hint? And then, you know, it is G-O-A-T, that is, we are talking about the last letter, right? Okay, so let's move further. So that's a tricky one now. Okay, on this one, I'm going to ask you a question using three photos you have to reply using the same pattern are you ready are you ready audience yeah yeah so okay so maybe somebody from the audience that first picture maybe you could put it into the chat what are those three items oh my gosh ashima you did you you are too good you are incredible so she answered that the whole Thank question you. wow great wonderful Actually, so let me okay i couldn't hear wow. so i'm i'll move further so well i think maybe we, we should, yes we can explain that so it's a ha hammer orange watermelon and then it's apple, rabbit, elephant, A-R-E. And then it's um, it's a yam, it's an orange, and it's an umbrella. The yam is a little bit difficult, so we give some hints on that as we go on. Yeah, all right. So the first three uh, items are, uh, as Mish has told, and next, okay? So it looks like a potato, but P-O-U doesn't make any sense. So maybe we should look up to the internet what is similar to the potato. So this way the lesson is progressing. Okay. Yeah, did I miss any 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 slide? I think I missed. No, oh, and that one, right? Because they they have to go and do it and do it, and then the grandma explains. But the next thing yes. that they have to do is they have to create their own question. Yes. So now see if you can ask a question using a picture. Like uh, so, grandma is telling the students now you have to create your own question in the form of a picture, and you know. So you can have, you, you might start with a photo, four items, something beginning with a W and then something else starting with an H and then something with an A and finally something with a T. Then you might build three photos, one for each word. 
So, you know, how about, how about can you buy me a new phone? And, you know, <laughs> what question you are going to ask? So the boy is saying that, can you buy me a new phone? <laughs> so can you buy me a new phone? That would mean seven scenes. Maybe you should start now or come up with a simple question. How about you, Elena? So I have always wanted a horse. I can ask, can I have a horse? So these, these are both good questions. Okay, whatever you decide as, you, as your question, let's see if you can code it using the objects of 3D Bear. Being able to code, it's an important skill as it's the basis of data security on internet. Uh, when your information is stored, it's coded. So uh, grandma is explaining what's the meaning of coding. I mean, like coded also, and that others cannot read it. So, okay, now uh, this is a challenge that with the help of 3D uh, objects and then place the photos in your personal notebook. As my aunt Sally says, don't forget to have fun. So the bear images are added here and you know the uh, conversation is added here so that the humor is also there besides when the learning is happening. So now go for the last challenge, okay. So here is your last, cha last challenge. Each picture may have a different pattern for you to decode. So do you think you can figure this out? Mish, if you can explain. Well, so the first, the first three items, it's, it's Yoda, right? It's an yeah. orange and it's umbrella. So think of the, and, and actually, so each picture has a different coding scheme. So the yeah. kids really have to work on this. And there's hints at, at, as you go along. So the first one is pretty easy. Um, the second one is going to be diff more difficult because there's a, a zebra. There's a door. Um, and uh, there's a snake. There's a snake. So that doesn't make sense using the first letter, but they've already decoded something where they used the last letter before. Last letter. So that's a different one. Yeah. Okay. And then the third one is still a different one. So that's um, a table, an apple, an egg, a rabbit, and a goat. And on this one, actually, they're going to have to start from the bottom as they decode, I think. Yeah. OK. Um, and then the last one is a lemon, an orange, a violin, and an, and an elephant. And that has, a, you know, yet um, that has, you know, a, a another way of decoding and then the last one has the last one so you can progress through is and see how we give hints to the students yes on, on how to solve this yes so see how many of these can figure out so this as mish has explained how these are doing so like first and second are already explained to you the first letter and here the last letter and then you know here also from the uh, you know from the bottom, that is goat, rabbit, egg, apple, and tea. That is, and then, you know, so it is given like when you feel succeed, you feel great. So, in the form of writing, how we are writing the sentence, hints are also given in the form of that, right, Mish? Right. And for the teachers, we have more hints in the, in the teacher notes, which we yes. have at the link. The lesson plan, that is the document file. Mm -hmm. Uh, in that the hints are there. So, you know, here the whole story is written, like how the lesson is progressing. And then, you know, uh, congratulation note is given to the students, again, uh, awarding the students the stars. And then, you know, we have additional challenges in the other mission using the 3D Bear. And that can also be involved with this. Yeah. And we started with really the most difficult challenges. So, you know, after the kids have gone through Five, four previous quests where each quest becomes, you know, they, they begin really, really easily and then they become increasingly difficult. This is really the capstone where the kids have the, the most difficult tasks. Yeah. 
So uh, if you can share the lesson uh, link of this lesson yeah, also. I, I, um, I did, I'm gonna, and I see somebody's actually already there, <laughs> but I'm, I'll do it again. Um, so here is the link to that lesson. Okay, so the, these were the two, you know, uh, lessons that uh, story-based quests uh, made for, you know, in the, in the form of three pairs. So it's, as in the beginning also, I told it's not necessary that you have to use any application. You can make it in the form of uh, clay. You can use it any play fun activity with the help of that. And so as we were primarily focusing on 3D Bear, so that's why. And I, I think I have explained uh, both the lessons and or do you want me to share any other quest also? Well, so what I was thinking is just, because uh, yeah. part of this is, you know, you may want to create your own stories this way. So um, I'll just, you know, we have, um, a story that is not has not yet been put into um, a, a full quest yet, um, but I'm, I'll share my screen and I'll just show you the, the process in case you want to do something like this yourself. But um, basically, the process is is to start off with you know some type of a document, and so here I'll make it larger so it's easier to see. Um, you know, so it's just basically a story. So you, you start writing, um, actually, um, I, I put into the wrong document, didn't I? Sorry, let me put it no, into, okay. um, here it is, sorry. It's okay. So here's, here's the document. So you just start, you just start writing a story. So um, in this one, this is a story really where the kids are learning math and animals. And Mia is a girl and she's going to go with a friend of hers to a farm and based on the number of animals they see and the number of animals who leave a field and come back into the field, she's going to be doing counting and math. So, you know, you develop a story about it that, you know, she, yeah. she wakes up in the morning and of course, like all kids, she has trouble getting up in the morning and then a little bit about, you know, how her mom makes wakes her up, but maybe how her dad wakes, wakes her up. And, um, you know, what animals would she want to see when she goes to, to the zoo? And, you know, what is she going to eat for breakfast? And then, and then she goes to the farm and then a series of things that she goes to the farm. So it's really first storybooking a story um, as a document and then thinking within that story, what type of challenges do you want to give the kids? so that they're doing the things that you want to teach in class. And that's how these stories are developed. Yeah. So questions? Yeah. Does anybody think that they can use these in their classes? I know you're, you're starting to use them in your school. Yes, I have uh, shared these one of the lesson and the grandma lesson also I'll be sharing tomorrow with the teachers. One of my teachers is already here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ashima, she's from my school. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, she's brilliant. Yeah. Hi, hi Preeti. Preeti. So uh, I would like to uh, have the questions and then, you know, Does people have questions about how these are created or how to use them in your class or um, or you have my email and you and you have Monica's email also I'll just, I'll just put mine back into the chat a little bit and it's Mitch at 3d bear.io um, so if you have questions on these um, uh, or you want to try them with 3d bear um, and, and if you don't have 3D Bear, then let me know and I'll set you up with a subscription to 3D Bear. Okay. Any other questions are there, Mish? Um, no, looks like, um, looks like people got it. So, uh, well, thank you. And, yeah. um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be developing more of these stories also. We'd yes. like to hear from you about ideas that you have for stories. Um, and if you want to develop a story, you know, and you want some to talk to us about how to do that, we're, we're happy to work with you.
Yeah, yeah. and I, I would really love that these oh are two God. beautiful lesson plans. And if you use it in your classroom, you give us your feedback and, you know, uh, the productivity of the lessons when you use it with their students. And the basic motive of the teacher is to make the students happy and engaged in the classroom. So, and I think the quest like this, the story-based quest, helps the child to be engaged, involved, and, you know, helps the child to uh, collaborate and be happy and working on that lesson and then have this acquiring that skills also. Yep. Okay. Well, Monica, thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll probably be talking to you in the next week anyhow. And for those yes. of you who want to, we have, an, we have another EdChat Interactive coming up this Saturday. And yeah. if you yourselves have things that you want to share on an EdChat Interactive, just let me know. So yeah. with that, um, I'll sign off and yes. uh, hope to Thank see you, you all soon. Everybody joining. stay safe. Thanks. Yeah, stay safe. Thank okay. you. All right. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.